Hi guys, my name is Diego and in today's video I would like to give you your first guitar lesson. So let's get started. Okay guys, so let's cover the basics about playing guitar. The first thing I want to talk about is the parts of the guitar. You have the headstock, which is where we tune the guitar. Then you have the fretboard or the neck. You're going to have the body of the guitar and you're also gonna have the bridge. Now I am holding an acoustic guitar, but this applies also for electric guitars. So it's pretty much the same process. One of the things that we tell students is one of the basic things is the headstock should always be higher than the bridge. You don't wanna hold the guitar this way because it gets a lot harder to play it. So make sure that you're holding it by holding the headstock higher than the bridge. Now the second thing is all guitars have an opening here. That opening is designed so it goes on top of your leg. Now, we see students all the time trying to hold the guitar almost in front of them and put the back of the body on their leg, which makes it really, really hard to play. So definitely make sure that the guitar goes on your side and that that opening rests on your leg. I am sitting in a way in which my right leg is propped open, uh, sorry, propped up, and we definitely want to make sure that you have a way of getting your right, head, your right leg higher because that allows the process of holding it to just be a little bit easier, especially for younger students. You wanna make sure that when you put the guitar, it almost gets jammed against your body, so that way it's easier to hold it and you're not wrestling so it doesn't fall. And the last thing that we like to mention is that when you play it, the headstock where you tune it should be almost over your left knee. So we don't play with the guitar right across us, we play it a little bit almost like on a diagonal going forward, which makes it also a lot easier to play. So those are the basic components of how to hold it. Holding a guitar is incredibly important. Students that hold it incorrectly have a much harder time. So definitely make sure that you follow those directions and that you check yourself. Maybe you can even get a video of yourself playing so you can see if you're following all these directions. So one of the basic aspects is how do you hold a guitar pick? We do recommend for our method that you start playing with a guitar pick. Now a guitar pick is gonna be a piece of plastic. You definitely wanna hold it on your fingers, similar to the way that you hold a pencil. So when you hold a pencil, you wanna have two fingers on one side and the thumb on the other. Now a very important aspect is you hold the pick with a lot of the material inside of your hand. So we don't hold the pick this way because that gets too much distance between the string and the pick. You want to hold a lot more of it inside, so pretty much you get a lot closer to the string, and it's easier to play, because one of the things that at the beginning that is challenging is accuracy. Accuracy of trying to play just the part of the guitar that you're trying to play. So definitely make sure that when you also put it on the guitar, try to aim it a little bit almost like towards you, a little bit on the upside. So we don't, we don't take the pick and go pointing down. You wanna try to almost point a little bit higher. That way when you're playing, it's a little bit easier to see and a little bit easier to play. Okay, let's talk about guitar strings. Guitar strings have numbers from the one closest to you, which is gonna be six, all the way down to one. So we're gonna have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, one thing, we're not gonna cover tuning on this video, we're gonna cover that on another video, so definitely go ahead and check our YouTube channel for that uh, other information. Now, when it comes to the guitar strings, we recommend this as a basic exercise. Take the pick, play four times each string. Now, this is not done with big movements, you wanna do a uh, small movement and just take the pick, play four times each string. One of the things that we see a lot with beginners is they smack the guitar, which is there's no need. You play guitar softly. Now, I'm not doing anything with the left hand. We're gonna play four times each string. Then go to the next one. Strong string four, and string three. And last we have string one. A lot of the exercises we're gonna do in our method start on string one, which we'll cover that in a second, especially on the left hand. But it is important that you get accurate at playing. One of the things that we see a lot is big movements. Big movements do not help. So when you do that, when you do a lot of big movements, it's a lot easier to hit things that you're not supposed to. So it is important when you're playing the strings to keep the movements short because that is gonna allow you to play a little bit easier at the beginning. Now we're gonna talk about the left hand. The left hand is critically important to play guitar. One of the things that we want first is the way that we grip, 
mainly we grip because our hand is designed to grip with your thumb so putting the thumb in the right place is a really important part of being able to play guitar now where do you put the thumb is going to be on the back of the neck around the middle of it and pointing up so it is really important that the thumb is doing its job as soon as the thumb gets sideways on the neck or you don't put it at all it becomes a lot harder to produce tone so make sure that the thumb is on the back if you're sitting in front of someone they should not be able to see your thumb so you don't want your thumb poking out like this you want it on the back of the neck especially at the beginning so you can develop good technique now let's talk about the fingers when you fret a note and fretting a note means that you're going to be squeezing it with your left hand when you fret a note we definitely don't want to be in the center you want to be right next to the fret the fret is this piece of metal that is uh, ingrained on the wood so when we play if you play on the left part you get a somewhat not even a tone when you start moving the tone gets a lot clearer so we want to make sure that your left hand that the fingers are right next to the fret so right next to the fret and hopefully with the thumb almost on the back because that way you need to put pressure and that pressure will give you a clear tone one of the challenges of guitar is that you need to put pressure here and you need to almost squeeze hard but this hand needs to stay not playing hard so it's a little bit of a separation you need to squeeze hard here put the fingers correctly and then produce a tone so one of the exercises that we recommend is you play the first string open open in tab is a zero so when you see it in our method you're going to see it as a zero zero means that you're not really doing anything with your left hand so open would be four times the first string then we're going to take your first finger press it down there get clear tone then we're going to take our next finger put it there we don't recommend taking this one off so if you can for this exercise leave the two fingers leave your first finger and then leave your second finger now we're going to press and get that next note and then we're going to do the next note which would be fret three so you can do this very steady we're playing quarter notes so four notes then the next note and then one more note when students are young we don't recommend that you go all the way to the pinky you can if you want now the main thing when you're hearing this type of note make sure that your left hand is doing its job because sometimes people and students get frustrated when they hear that they start hitting it hard to see if that's the problem it's almost always your left hand not doing its job so make sure that you're holding the guitar correctly that the headstock is higher and that you're actually being able to produce a clear tone by where your fingers are on this hand also less movement is more you don't want to be moving around a lot so you don't want to be doing a lot of that you want to keep the movements short do them accurately do them slowly so you can develop good technique so that covers your first guitar lesson one thing that i like to personally mention to students is that guitar playing is challenging for the first three to six months it is very normal to feel like you're not supposed to play guitar i personally quit the first time that i tried guitar and many years later i tried it for a second time because i had a wrong instrument and i didn't have proper instruction so it is challenging it will hurt a little bit and feel uncomfortable but it's a process that if you have a good teacher you follow directions you follow some of the directions in this video the process will get better and definitely you will be successful i would like to say just be patient for three to six months try to practice these exercises get good at them and definitely don't play the guitar hard and don't do big movements those are i think are the two biggest reasons that people truly fail at it if you want to know more about what we do, you can visit us at thehitmusicstudio.com and you can also check our YouTube channel for other videos related to this topic. See you guys very soon.